Okay, so the three main parts of the brainstem, which is right here, is the pons, the medulla oblongata, and the midbrain. And basically their everyday life functions, so like breathing or like digestion, they also like make sense of the info given. Like they process it through the brain. Well, is it my turn? I bet. So, the thalamus is this part right here. And that it sends signals between the cerebral cortex and the hypothalamus and the cerebellum. Yeah, it like controls coordination and stuff. And like, yeah, posture. And without them, you wouldn't really be able to move. So yeah, and the limbic system is the hippocampus and amygdala. It's like controls your emotions and stuff. And the hippocampus stores memories. All right, yeah. I'm the cameraman here, so you can't see my face. But this is the cerebral cortex right here. It contains the four lobes of the brain, temperamental lobe, precipital lobe, occipital lobe, and the frontal lobe. These lobes are very important in the brain because they monitor stuff, they allow you to see, and they also allow you to hear. So if you're without the cerebral cortex, you probably will be like a different person. Glial cells also help in the cerebral cortex. They provide support to neuron cells because they contain a lot of them in the cerebral cortex. And they also take care of dead ones that are in the cerebral cortex too. And they just kind of take them out somewhere. The association areas, they're parts of the cerebral cortex. And basically they're the main info processing center. They're the things that can allow you to think and learn. The rocks area, that is what allows you to speak the language. And the Wernicke's area is what allows you to be able to understand the language that is being spoken to you. You can't see the hemispheres here because of the side view of the brain, but there are two hemispheres in the brain. The left hemisphere controls logical thinking. You basically contain like mathematical skills or like just some general facts. The right hemisphere though controls mostly about like creative thoughts, like advanced thinking. You take multiple steps to like problem solve. If you're reading a book and you look at detailed descriptions in the chapter, you can infer based on those details. Losing one hemisphere is pretty important, but you can still function as a normal human being even if you do lose one. And yeah, that's basically it.